FIFA 22 is slowly coming to an end, and with the addition of the new Shapeshifters Hero promo, there is easier ways than ever to make coins whilst being lazy. That is why in this video I'll be taking you guys through the laziest trading methods to help you guys make millions of coins quickly and with very little effort. If you guys do find the video helpful then please make sure to drop a like and subscribe and if you do want you can join my FIFA 22 Discord server, the link to which is in the description. Thanks guys for watching and let's get straight into it. Now before we get into today's video, if you're looking to get some very easy coins, there is no better place than U4GM. Head over there to get yourself some fast, cheap FIFA 22 coins, completely safe and reliable. If you use code MANZA at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. Okay, so the first laziest trading method that I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be the bulk bidding trading method. For this, all you guys need to do is head on over to a site such as Footbin or Footwiz and find an 82 or 83 rated player, which has a minimum by now of above 1,000 coins, as these tend to work the best. For example, a player which falls into this category would be Marco Asensio. What we would then do is go and find his cheapest by now on the market, which currently for me is around about 1,300 coins, which you can sell him instantly at. We would then work out tax when selling this card at 1.3k, which is going to be under 100 coins. So if we put this down to around about 1.1k, well, anything under there is going to be profit. So then what you want to do is put the maximum price to 1,100 coins and just head over to the market. As you guys can see, there is all these Marco Asensios here, which if we go and bid 1,100 coins on all of these cards, well, then if we win them, we know we can go and sell them instantly for 1,300 coins. Now, yes, individually, the profit per card is only around about 125, 000, uh, 125 coins. However, when you are bidding on 10 cards at a time, that is going to be 1,000 coins. And if you do fill out your watch list completely, well, that is going to be 50 cards which you can bid on at once, which is 5,000 coins profit minimum every time you guys do go through this cycle. Then all you just want to do is rinse and repeat. Now, there are other players which this does work with. So, for example, if you are not having much success with Asensio due to being outbid, then simply just go on to Footbin and find a different player who falls into the price categories. For example, Christian Pulisic. Now, him on the market is currently around about 1.2k, which, yet again, is perfect for our price categories. 1.2k, anything one at 1,000 coins or under is perfect for us, so we will just head onto the market, and yet again, all of these cards here, we can go and just bid 1,000 coins on. Every time we do one win one of these cards, it is 140 coins profit per trade. And all of those cards do add up when it comes to eventually selling on the cards. The profit per card does add up massively and it makes you guys get an overall big profit while you guys are being lazy using this trading method. Now, the reason why this trading method is such a good lazy trading method is because while these cards are expiring on bid, well, you guys can do and go and do something else. So, for example, you could go and play a game and when you come out of your game, well, you will have made coins because of all the cards which you do when on bid. Therefore, the bulk bidding method proves one of the most effective ways to make coins. Now, the next trading method to make coins with barely any effort is going to be the Bronze Rare 200 coin trading method. For this, you simply want to put the quality to Bronze Rare, the maximum price to 15 million, and then the maximum buy now to 200 coins. Now, these Bronze Rare cards all do have a value of around about a minimum of 200 coins, which you guys can see on the market. And all you then want to do is simply move your joystick one time to the right. Now, what this will do is show you the league of all of these cards. And effectively, what you are doing is just compare price back outing, updating the market, and looking for cards which are from Rare Leagues. So for example, this could be any of the top five leagues, indeed Prem, Bundesliga, Ligue 1, Serie A and La Liga. However, if you are unable to get them, what you can actually do is just look for cards which are already on the 59th minute. So for example, this card is listed up at 200 coins. He has a minimum by now of 350. Now, because they are bronze cards, sometimes they can be more difficult to sell. So what you guys actually do want to do is just buy any cards which you can sell for a minimum of around about 400 coins. So this Eredivisie cam, Eredivisie cards normally go for a minimum of about 400 coins. So we can see we can get 400 coins for this card. So doubling our coins when buying at 200 coins. But as I said, you guys are just looking for cards which do have a buy now of around about 500 coins or under. Now, if there is any no rare leagues, you can just compare price on these cards. So for example, update a Saudi league card here. We can see he goes for around about 400 coins we can get for that card very easy. So if we can pick that up. That's double coins there again. Saudi League again. What can we see with this card? This card only goes for 350 coins, so we don't want to pick that up. Remember, we're looking for a card with a minimum of 400 coins in order to make it easier to sell, as some of these cards can be difficult to sell. 
especially if it can be easier if you do get cards from the top five league SPCs, as then it will help you out and therefore the coins are worth more. But cards such as MLS you're normally quite safe with, or especially Saudi League or anything from the top five leagues, in order to guarantee which you guys do make enough coins on your return. This Saudi here, 450 coins we can sell him for, so if we get him for 200 coins, well that is easy, well over double profit, and then we can go and just sell on all of these cards. Obviously we've picked them all up for 250 coins, this Tom Bacti here for example, we picked up for 200 coins, his cheapest by now, we know we can get at least 400 coins for these cards, and therefore making double coins every time with these trades. Now the next lazy trading method I'm going to be showing you guys is a new method which I've been using recently to help make me lots of coins. That is going to be the silver rare nation method. For this you put the quality to silver rare and then select any of the top 9 countries slash regions. This could be Argentina, Brazil, Germany, Portugal, France, the Netherlands, Italy, Spain or England. For the shake I've shown you guys I'm going to be using France. You then want to set the maximum price to 15 million and the maximum by now to around about 400 coins does tend to work best. And then simply select a position. Now this position could be defender, midfielder or attacker. It doesn't actually matter which one you start off with as we will be going through all of them. Then simply search the market. What you guys are looking for is cards which are up on undercut. So as you guys can see, all these cards here, we go straight to the ones which have recently been listed. Now this Coef here is listed up for 400 coins. And what we will do is find the cheapest buy out of him on the market. This guy is actually only 400 coins, so that isn't a deal. However, if he was 1,000 coins, well, we could pick him up for 400 coins and then sell it on for profit. Now, if there isn't a deal on any of these cards, that is not a problem. Simply, all you then do is just go back over to the position and move it on to the next position. So, for example, midfielder. We then search the market here and look for cards which have recently been listed, such as this DRB here at 400 coins. And we will scroll across and see, is there enough room to make profit? So if DRB yet again the minimum by now is only 500 coins so that one isn't going to be a deal. No problem we move straight on to attacker. And this is the key you guys just want to go through this as quick as you can. You don't want to hang around if the cards aren't deals. So this German one here silver at 400 coins no not going to be a deal. But what we can do is have a look at cards which are listed up for like 300 coins for example and see is the minimum price around about 600 coins. If it isn't okay no problem we back out now we've done the whole of France what we can do is switch nation. English forwards let's try out these now some of the prices may differ so with English forwards for example it looks like they're a bit cheaper than the French forwards but still the same premise scroll over to the 59th minute and just look and see if these cards are on undercuts not this case on this cards this time but you guys can get a lot of deals on this filter especially around 6 p.m. when new people are opening up their silver preview packs here are some deals which I did get earlier include this Bernard here which I did pick up for 300 coins Who's by now on the market is actually 600 coins, so that's double profit, so we can list up 550, take the profit on that card. This Weisbeck here, which we also picked up for 300 coins, which we can go and get 600 coins for, so yet again, double profit. And then this other Iseric here, which we picked up for 450 coins, and we can go and sell on for 700 coins. Very easy double profit on all of these cards with this lazy trading method as it takes little to no effort and is very very simple and effective to use. Next up we have the position change trading method. Now this is going to be one of the most effective ways to make coins currently in FIFA 22 especially if you are lazy and don't want to put in much effort. First of all, all you want to do is just find a card who comes out of their default, uh, comes out of packs in the default position of either right wing or left wing, as these two tend to work the best. For example, Ferro and Torres comes out of packs normally in the default position of right wing. What we would then do is buy one of these Ferran Torres cards for as cheap as we can get him. This is in order to make the most overall profit. So with Ferran Torres we can pick him up for literally 750 coins. So we'll pick one up and then send him over just to the transfer pile here. We have then picked that uh, Ferran Torres up for 750 coins and what we will then do is head over to consumables, position modifier and buy a right wing to right mid position modifier. This is because once applies, cars which come out of packs in the right wing position actually go for more in the right mid position. Now, something key to note with these position modifiers is that they are quite expensive and the cheaper you can get them for, the better. So with this right wing to right mid here, it's looking like 900 coins is going to be what we will pay. So we've paid 900 coins for the position modifier and 750 coins for Ferran Torres. That takes the total spent up to 1,650 coins. Now, if we simply head back over to the market and look for Ferran Torres in the right mid position, then we will see why this method is so effective. If we go over and search for Ferran Torres in the right mid, we can see his price increases. 
So, so far we have spent 1.6 thousand coins to get him in that position. However, he is extinct all the way up until around about 3,500 coins. Now, prices may differ when you guys are using these cards, uh, this trading method. So, it is important when, which you guys do know the prices of your cards. However, Ferran Torres currently for me, we can get 3,500 coins for in the right mid position. So we will take advantage of that and then simply head over to our club. In fact, that one at 3.5k has now sold. So the cheapest one is going to be 4,000 coins. We only spent 1,600 coins. So if we sell on at 4,000 coins, well, that is going to be very good profit. Simply now, all you do is head over to your club. Get the Ferran Torres, obviously, which we um, sent into our club and then convert him over to the right mid position. Once he is converted, this obviously massively increases his price all the way from literally very cheap being down at uh, 1,600 coins, obviously a total spent. We can then sell him on for 1,000, uh, 4,000 coins and take the easy profit after tax. So this Farron Torres here, we would just use the right wing to right mid convertible, switch him over obviously and sell that card on then for a total of 4,000 coins, easy doubling our profit. Now the good thing about this method is you can repeat it. So simply just go back onto the market, pick another right wing Ferran Torres up for 750, pick another right wing to right mid, convert it and then sell it on for the increased profit which is going to be 4,000 coins which you can sell these cards on for. Now this doesn't just work with Ferran Torres, it does work with any right wing uh, players or any left wing players which obviously have an increased value when converted over. Anyway, guys, that is going to be all for today's video. Hopefully, the lazy trading methods which I have shown you guys have helped you out and can help you make millions. If you guys did find the video helpful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more of my FIFA content. You can also join my FIFA Discord server, the link is in the description. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.